I have not moved since you last saw me. I think he's gone. I, I don't know if I can, I think he's gone. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna walk inside. Yeah. Hello, stars. My name is Nick Simon. Welcome back to the Gaming Galaxy. Today I've returned with some more Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition. We just completed our mission in Lavender Town. And now we're gonna get another... Let's see what you have to say. Hi there. Whoa, what can I say, Nick? He beat me. He beat all of us. You wanna see boss? He's in a bit of, bit of a frenzy right now. Hey, what's up with you? Wow. So that kid just broke into our way into high and beat all of us flat out? Huh. I guess those right to head have a... a Oh, shit. Red kicked everyone's asses. Oh, Giovanni not gonna be happy. I see the sending well. Hey, boss. Ariana, it's positively the worst humiliation we have ever been through. If Lance and the Elite Four stormed in, busted, busted, busted us out, I would have been furious. If some petty small time gang decided to marshal all its resources and you said I would have taken it as a slight upon my honor. But this Ariana, what in the devil could have prepared me for this? A child. I mean, what in Arceus's name do I make of this? The most prestigious notorious organization, all of Kanto brought to its knees at the hand of some pre adolescent twerp. I'm disgusted, revulsed, and ashamed at our incompetence. I've been naive, underestimated the kid, and look at him now. Full of badges and fully evolved Pokemon in his arsenal. Who knows, before we'll know he'll have the right to challenge with Vittori and Jinna, and we'll demand its leader show up and accept its challenge. No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But if it happens... We will have to be ready. You know, I'm, you know, I'm always prepared for every event, eventuality, Giovanni. There are those of us who can count me on your side, with, with us until the end of beyond, if need be. Which I don't pronounce that. It would seem a favorable grunt has graced us with its presence. Nick, so you returned. I'll be frank and tell you that Fuji's answers are the least of my concerns alone. Well, let's hear whatever you have to report anyway. Quickly, you hear? What's that? There's more? Oh. Oh, could it be? Well, fine, you've piqued my interest. Take it from the start if you would. Hmm. A Power Town native, then? And licensed for Pokemon trainer by the chief by the chief trader himself. Well, that explains how the kid got a hold of that freak of a Charizard at least. So Oak is holding for Fuji, is he? God, what is he planning? Does he know about us? This could be bad. This could be very bad indeed. I think Nick, I think about time I heard learned the truth. <laughs> Things that happened in the, in secret in that final year of the war. I never thought to tell, tell it all to a mere grunt, but I believe you've proven yourself worthy of hearing it. And if you're going to work with me to set things straight, it's best you hurt, had it clean from me. I'm going to tell you everything. 
It was 11 years ago. Kanto's war effort was going badly. It was clear we could not win by force alone. But we had something that Lance and his boys did not. Something we knew was the key to victory. The minds of the, the, minds of the brightest scientists in the nation. Ever since the start of the war, Oak had been leading a number of secret initiatives to capture and harness the power of one Pokemon. One so weird that most laymen thought thought it, it just a legend. But, legend, but legends don't win wars. Oak knew better. Once word had once word got back that Dr. Fuji had, had at last caught a hold of Mew, we knew there was no chance the public could know. It was to be the region's best kept secret, and our only chance of winning. But Mew could not be brandished like artillery on the battlefield, like the way Lance did his Johto dogs. And nor did Oak expect it could. By far the strongest Pokemon in existence, in existence but, con but contained in the body of the most benevolent and soft-hearted creature you could ever see. We couldn't make the thing knock out a Magikarp for sport, let, it, let alone ravage a crowd of enemy monsters in the, back in the field. So Oak decided on another solution. To harness Mew's power they would create from it a genetic clone, conditioned from birth to be devoid of empathy and to possess an innate urge for battle. They called it the Mewtwo Project. At the time I was the richest man in Kanto and a devout member of Oak's Elite Four. I wanted to do everything I could for Kanto, so I funded the project. An impressive team was assembled. Blaine, Fuji, Bill, and Professor Shigeki. Kanto's authority on genetic engineering. Each member was a genius in his own right and wasn't afraid to work day and night for months for months for a chance to save Kanto. But the project proved much more difficult than expected. Most cases came out as formless, half dead pieces of flesh that did not resemble Mew in any way. One of these early one of these early failures was particularly nasty. Though equally as erratic and disgustingly shapeless as the others. This newborn monster and had inherited new strength. Uh oh. It broke free from its test tube and escaped the lab, killing several er of the earlier specimens in its wake. This little incident had become known as the catastrophe. And it scared the scientists as well as it did me. I began to lose faith in the investment, and I think L Oak was starting to feel the same way. Luckily, however, Dr. Fuji soon gave new hope to the project. Fuji, Fu Fuji suggested a way to contain Mu's power within a, s within a solid sending it body. By creating a clone that would combine combine Mew's day with that of a human, or DNA with that of a human. Initial tests proved promising, and scientists agreed. 
to each contribute a sample of their own DNA to be used for the new clone. Oak was the only one who, re who refused to provide a DNA sample. His skepticism for the project had now risen to a peak. Ironically, however, Fuji's theory proved correct. Sooner than anyone could anticipate, the team had produced their, def their definitive Mew 2. A human-like, immensely powerful psychic Pokemon. Possessing the, re the requisite cold, bloodthirsty mindset and sapient intelligence. Before anyone could prepare it for the field, however, the Mewtwo project reached its natural conclusion. Devoid of empathy, but disturbingly intelligent. The newborn clone couldn't find no reason to fight for Kanto's cause. Why the war didn't appeal to Mewtwo, we couldn't quite say. But it refused to be used as a military weapon. And when we insisted, it rebelled. With psychic powers we had no means to control, you two ruined the lab and escaped the scientists who had given it life. Driven, we believe, by a desire to find worthy Pokemon opponents, it sought refuge in the depths of a notoriously dangerous cave outside Cerulean City. As far as I know, that's where it still hides to this day. No capture expedition since. Not by the governments, by us, or any other party for that matter. Has been successful. Soon after Mewtwo's escape, it was all over. Oak announced Kanto surrendered to Lance and Johto, ending the war. We had done we had done our best to destroy all evidence of the project. But there was no hiding the team's involvement in some kind of military research. Fuji was the first to throw in the towel. The old coward openly pledged his allegiance to Lance, accepting any terms they gave him. Blaine and Bill were more reluctant. But they eventually followed suit. Now, as to this Shigeki. Nobody knows. The old guy has has been missing ever since the end of the war. And me? Well. Lance stripped me of my Elite Four position right quick. And Oak. The bastard traitor left me to, to fend for myself. As if I hadn't invested my heart and soul, let alone my personal fortune, to defend a home now taken over by its foreign aggressors. I knew it wasn't right. I knew that I, that Kanto at large, had been cheated of a battle, we could have won. And I have vowed that if Lance could not be taken down through legitimate means, then I would cripple him from the inside. I never looked back. So now you see, Nick, why recent developments have concerned me very deeply. 
Ariana, darling. I need you to leave Viridian. Leave for Viridian. We have no time to waste. With this red twerp running around, we can't leave the gym unmanned. You will guard it in my absence. If that's what you want, you can But he won't like it. Our boy. Nonsense. My son will, will come with you to Viridian if need be. It will do him good. Very well, Giovanni. I'll be on my way. So like I said, darker Pokemon. <sighs> Listen, Nick. Oak must despise everything, everyone who worked on the Mewtwo project. If all of a sudden he has business with Fuji after all these years, it can't be good news. I can't imagine he's, he still believes he can find some way to get at Mewtwo after all these years, but I suppose he did. We have to know. That's why, Nick, I want you to go to Pallet Town yourself. Confront Oak in his lab and get to the bottom of what, of what he's up to. If that means resorting to force, then so be it. The old guy is banned from Pokemon battles, so he's not likely to put up much of a fight anyway. And while you're there, do what you can to gather any more information about this red kid or his family from the locals. Any keen in information, any weakness that of his that we can exploit would be great help. All clear, Nick? Very good. Just one more thing before you go. What's happening? Oh, what's this? Rocket Admin! Woo! We moving up? <laughs> I'll say it was about time. You've earned my trust. With this rise in rank, I think you'll have no trouble stealing Pokemon from teenagers and women. You'll also be obliged to carry one of these. The Rocket Pager! This device will beep when I want one or all my admin to report back to HQ. Whenever it goes off, I expect you to make your way here as soon as you possibly can. That is all. You've shown a lot of promise, Nick. That's why I've chosen to invest in you like this. Do not go to waste. That understood? Off with you, admin. No time to waste. Well, I'm looking at the timer now. We're currently at 18 minutes. Which is... I, that story just took up so much time, but I think we're gonna invest a little bit more time into the, uh... I wonder, I wonder what Ronnie will, will say about this. He's probably not good. What's up? Oh, there's Ronnie. Damn, but what's the new getup? Say what? They made little Nick an admin now, did they? Well, <laughs> no jokes. So now you can rob women and teenagers, is that it? Congrats, bud. You know, give my more games, but it speaks my mind better than in person. Yeah, too, doesn't it? I know. Any more juicy news? Oh, you're going to Pow to investigate, to interrogate Perster Oak? No, wait. Dude, no way. That's too rad. You know, they didn't give me an yeah. When I was in that department, I'll, I'll come with you to Pow and beat up Perster Oak together. Man, finish to come, isn't you, Nick? Uh. This should be interesting. Oh. What's this? Hi there, Nick. It's been a while. Fill me in on the latest rocket news, if you would. Oh, now. The little autistic kid had you knocked all senseless. <laughs> Sorry, but I find that rather humorous. Some kid. Oh, and what? Giovanni finally revealed his wartime secrets. Good. Then we're fully on the same page now, aren't we? I suppose he told you about the catastrophe as well, then. Yes, yes, that Mewtwo is well shut off in Cerulean Cave, but I'm curious. Did you know what hap- did you know- did he happen to know what became of Mew after the project was shut down? No? Very well. Keep up with the good work. You're a good friend to have. I'll talk to you later. Alright then. Let's make our way to Pallet. Wait a minute. 
I have a bike! Son of a bitch. You little fucking... I don't have a map, so I have to just do this. Four. Let me just activate our pal so I don't have to deal with Pokemon fucking ass. That came out wrong. Shit! Protect. You just got smacked by the bird. No. Damn it. You just got knocked the fuck out. No. Yes, I'm a rocket, but I'm not gonna steal from you because I have no reason to. Computer City. Yeah, I'll stop at the Pokemon. Hi there. Might as well just get their pop on. Yeah, I might as well sell. Oh, nugget. I, I didn't even need to sell, but I just sell it. Why the rush? Cause, oh Jesus! I'm pretty sure in the original Fire Red, those guys are like at the very least level something. Like they're like really. Oh hey, look. Hyper potion. Jesus! I have speed. Yeah. I love you! I'm gonna kick somebody's ass! Oh no, wait. I'm sure fine. Uh oh. Oh great, more of Dad's Groovy's coming? Can we now tell my please do it? Or do you all to do your dirty work? Why? Is there too much of how to do things yourself? Why couldn't he... Just come along. Man, I'm sure it was probably nothing. Oh. It was never any use, was it? Welcome to Verdi's Viridian City, Nick. Wait, there was no door there. How did you... Hey, whatever. What up, old man? It's my job to teach the little youngsters how to be a good Pokemon trainer. No. Do I have a bounty on me? I'd love to ask the dad. Well, I have some Pokemon in my... Thing, but I'd like to get rid of it. Yeah, I already have my adorable thing. Jesus. What happens if I give a moonstone? Make an Umbreon. 
Pero no. Yeah, it's the Umbra. Could I do with a dark type? That that that's not exactly good in damage. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to leave it just as an Eevee because I think it's kind of hilarious the idea that this gangster that works for a criminal organization uses a friggin' Eevee as one of its main partners. I just think that's funny. No. I cannot waste my time. Hmm, how quaint. Nah, I'm kidding. Actually, no, I take it back. What a shithole. For those that understand that reference, you're amazing. A rocket in our innocent lab? What? No, 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 goodness, no. Professor Oak is not hidden. I, dare you, I doubt very much he'd want anything to do with you if you were. No, 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 stop right there, rocket. I may be a research aid, but I need... What's on his computer? I assume it's porn! Hmm. What's over here? Well, he's not in. What say you? Oh my, well, I'm not afraid. I'm afraid of he's not here. He's not here. Region. Yeah, I'm not gonna hurt you if I don't have business because of you, jackass. Oh. Oh my. Now isn't this a surprise? In all my visits to Pallet over the years, I never thought I'd see a fellow like yourself in such a peaceful place like this. You say peaceful, I say boring. You're here for Oak, aren't you? Oh, I have no intention of stopping. We have much more in common than you probably think, Rocket. Say, it's not often we see a, f a new face in this part. I went for a cup of tea, if you will. Pal is such a wasteland for interesting tea for conversation. Hmm. Why is this woman letting me in her house? Bruh. She looks pissed. <laughs> Forever I was just like, always at that pissed cartoon angle. Got this took a turn. So that explains why the ass hat doesn't have parents. Am I being sensitive right now? I mean, it is blue we're talking about. Can I go now? I just want. I just want. The, I just want to go after the kid next door. Why can't I do that?
You know, it was kind of stupid of her just to leave an unknown criminal in her house with her granddaughter. I'm the criminal, I'm thinking, why the hell am I in here? Jesus Christ. Alright, ghost. My water Pokemon, you fuck. Down you go. I'm gonna run. I'm not gonna handle this one. Bubble beam. Fucking bubbles. Get out of our house. Yeah, and yeah, we're yeah we were that was kind of our plan. Yo, yes! <laughs> I know we already have a fire Pokemon, but fuck you! No. Oh shit! Didn't even check the lab first. You know, or I can just first heal up my Pokemon because Yes, I'd like to talk to you about your son. This is Ben Tessima's mother. Why? What do you want to know? Like, he's quite a boy. He's always so interested in Pokemon battle, but not much else. To tell you the truth, he never had many friends at all, except for Blue, who lived next door. Hmm. Every single word candy I own. <laughs> All right, 
Alrighty, let's head out. Oh, well, I've been recording for a while. Those two stories uh, really did a number. <laughs> I wonder if that will, um, I wonder if what Ronnie did had another impact, like the last time he decided to fuck shit up. I pray it doesn't. You did what? Ah, oh, shit. This girl was clearly connected to those red and blue twerps. Yet, not only did you interfere with one of my admins' investigation, but proceed to openly reveal the purpose of his mission. How could a dim that like with like you pass through our initiation process? Hang on. You're the grunt who got the police on our backs with the cerulean scandal, didn't you? You know, see his name. Out of my sight, grunt. You're damn lucky I don't let a wild a pack of wild. Arcane on, on you right this second. Scram! Hey, what's up, Giovanni? Well, I won't need to, I won't need to run down every mission next. Your friend here has told me more than enough already. Ahem, now then. If Oak is nowhere to be found, I'll have to send another team to lo on it to locate him. I don't like it one bit that he's away, but what can we do? We'll po postpone his interrogation until we can, can get a hold of him. In the meantime, I have a new mission for you, Nick. Listen up. Blaine, that stinking bald wimp of a gym leader, has gone cold on us. Despite re 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 repeated attempts by us to contact him, the old guy has stayed silent as a mouse. And... He knows I don't tolerate that kind of thing. Here's what you'll do. Head over to Simbar Island and get a hold of Blaine personally. Tell him straight out, between his Porygon nonsense and all his chickening out lately, he had better get his act together and do exactly what we tell him. Or we'll have that scalp of him th so thoroughly scorched he'll finally live up to his nickname. Give him a good little beating right away if that's necessary. Just let him know we mean business. Simbar Island is the south is in the southwest corner of Kanto, just across the water from Palak or Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Go talk to our science guy upstairs by the entrance. He'll fix you with the HM for sir if you tell him I sent you. That's all, Nick. No dawdling around now. Show that Blaine how rockets deal with people who are chicken out. All right then. Next time on Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, we're gonna go learn surf and then teach Blaine a lesson. Till next time, guys. Take care.